guess that's the five million dollar question. Yeah, well, there, there still remains a, a lot of study that needs to be. It's, it's yeah. kind of in the early stages, and with the weather, there are decades of data that you would need to analyze. So, yeah, there's still that unknown with the correlation between the two. <laughs> but what we do know is that it wasn't so hot today because of the rain. It was kind of nice. That's good. It it's not felt good terrible. Today. As a matter of fact, Kenner right now is at 78 degrees Whoa. thanks to our clouds and <laughs> rainfall and the showers that move through. At times, you get a decent little downpour here and there. But thankfully, the rain over the last several days have not been those high rainfall rates that we saw last week. Some showers around the Angie area. This is very much our typical summertime pattern. And I tell you what, if the clouds and rainfall keep us out of the 90s and also if we're not talking tropics, I'll take this every day this summer. A few little downpours around the Destrehan area as we've had some showers weakening on the West Bank and around the metro area. We've had a couple of little passing showers around City Park and looks like one little light shower over Kenner at the moment. We are under mostly cloudy skies outside at the moment, but as the rain ends, we should see some clearing through the night. A little rain shaft looking off in the distance toward downtown under mostly cloudy skies. And as I mentioned, not too bad temperature wise. Five o'clock in the evening in late June at 78. That's not bad at all, but look at what that thunderstorm does do. It kicks up the wind south at 21 miles an hour. So at times you get these thunderstorms, kind of a brief downpour and some gusty winds associated. 89 was our high today. Once again, staying below the average high for this time of year. And we didn't see a huge amount of rainfall accumulated in the metro area. 78 Kenner, 79 up in Covington, 85 degrees at Slidell. Notice no one on the map right now in the 90s. So we'll take it. What helped our rain coverage today and may keep our rain coverage a little bit on the higher side tomorrow. You can kind of clearly see it here on water vapor. There is an upper low. This upper low, not just a ton of rainfall, but it's certainly helping the instability in the atmosphere. And with plenty of tropical moisture, it doesn't take much to get those showers going. And it looks like that may help us out during the day tomorrow. Although most of the models are indicating that low is going to start weakening as we get into tomorrow and especially more so into Thursday. So scattered showers during the course of the day tomorrow. And then as we head into Thursday, maybe a few less our rain coverage even based on a couple of models going at around 40 percent so i did decrease our rain chance slightly as we approach thursday different story for friday and the weekend we've been talking about this front moving in that's going to really increase our rain coverage especially on saturday but we may see the front actually slide south of the coast that may keep much of our rainfall sunday on the fourth more toward the coast so perhaps the afternoon and evening won't be so bad on on the 4th of July as opposed to Saturday when it looks like it is going to be a fairly wet day. A couple of areas that we're watching out in the tropics. This is Invest 93. We've been talking about that for the last several days. A new one has emerged. This is Invest 97. If you're wondering what happened to 96, that's what became Danny. This one actually looks like it may have a slightly better chance of organization and neither is going to do anything in the next couple of days. This is really looking very ragged and this one is almost kind of an elongated uh, uh, organization with any kind of rotation. Models don't really do much of that or much of with these for the next couple of days. However, you kind of watch them as they approach the Caribbean. Looks like the first one kind of weakens. The second one may try and get a little bit better organized if it's able to survive mo mo moving into the Caribbean. We could see this make some kind of turn toward the US, but that's not until after the 4th of July. And notice based on this model right now, it would not even be an organized system. So plenty of time to watch it right now. High temperatures, upper 80s, lower 90s. Rain chance is about the same through Friday and then a wetter Saturday and hopefully we dry out by Sunday afternoon and evening.